Today we are back in Solo Queue, where we once again dive into a world of never-ending pain and misery. Well, at least we're not slot five this time. Hate to be that guy. Hmm, I'm really not sure if slot 5 will play as a tank, so we have to be really smart with our pick. How about we pick someone who can do both jobs? We need an XP laner or a tank. And I'm pretty sure that big lady snoo snoo here can be both. Alright, here's the big moment guys. This guy has main heroes as Beatrix, Bruno, and Roger. I think we already know what'll happen, right? Wait a minute, are you serious dude? He's one of us guys, he's following the golden rule. I'm really proud of you Squidface, I'll do my best to get us a W, I swear. Alright, let's see, it looks like we don't have to deal with Paquito, but we'll have to deal with Mr. Long. I wonder how long he will be after we're done chopping him with our axe. And now that we are in the game, of course, let's go straight to the XP lane. And say hi to the enemy who will probably have a lot of screen time since we'll be staying here in the XP lane while we are slapping him with our axe. But like a smart spear boy that he is, he realizes that uh, we're a little bit tanky for him to fight right now so he's playing really safe and it's uh, pretty annoying. He's probably just waiting to flip us in his tower. But it doesn't look like his spear was long enough. It's never gonna be enough for Hilda so just give it up. So maybe we'll just make sure that he's pushed inside his tower so that he won't notice that our teammates are trying to do the turtle. Wait a minute, actually I think he's getting a clue. Like I always said, this Zilong looks like he's very smart but it looks like he's also very late. But at least he got here just in time for this post-objective teamfight and he also got here in time for a free trip back to the base. I think that's enough fighting now, I just realized that most of our teammates are dead. But that is fine because we at least secured two of our kills, so back to the top lane we go. Where we of course have to deal with Zilong ignoring us and running away from us every single time. When are you gonna fight me man? What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for Christmas? Don't worry, it's still 69 days to go. Oh there we go, he's at least fighting us now for like 2 seconds. I really expected more from you Mr. Long, I thought you'd last for more than 2 seconds. And since it doesn't look like you want to leave your tower, how about I go in? Actually, I'm just letting my teammates in. Because you look like a very hospitable guy, you wouldn't want your guest to just be waiting outside, right? Or maybe we should convince you to not be a shut-in and go outside once in a while, you know? You can even touch grass while you're at it. Hey, what's this Ling saying? Shut up Ling. I want our teammates to visit me once in a while, you know? It's, it gets very lonely here. And this loneliness is making me crave for some freshly sliced serving of this walking salad that I think Ling wanted. Too bad bro, first come first serve. Meanwhile, back in the top lane, it looks like Mr. Long is slowly recovering from his agoraphobia. So I guess we should replace it with Hildaphobia. And while Zilong is in the Shadow Realm, I think Ling here plans to help us take down this tower. That's a good idea, buddy. It's been too long now that I've stayed here in the top lane. And now we can go somewhere else. We're free to have a change of scenery. Like maybe get a nice view of the minion wave here in the mid lane that no one's taking care of. Actually we have to go back to the top lane again because Zilong has only one job and that is to be an annoying split pusher. So in order for us to counter that a little bit, we have to push our lane a little bit before we leave it. We can even go the extra mile by escorting our minions. See, there he is. We are not gonna fight him though, we're just gonna let our minions delay his push while we do something else. Like maybe take this red. Wait a minute, why is he having the courage to fight me one versus one? Is he getting back up or something or is he planning on going back to base in style? I guess that's his plan. And Panchito, who taught you how to punch like that? You were punching like a baby, you know? Like a, like a very strong baby. Man, that was a lot of enemies, wasn't it? We fell right into their trap once again, actually. But that is fine, I mean I can take a few hits just as long as they don't dive me under my tower, it doesn't look like it. 
because apparently what they're planning is to get us from behind. How about I slap you in the back, Panjito? Just kidding. I'm actually going for this tasty low HP Z-Long that Atlas was nice enough to prepare for us. And now our mission is to get out of this in one piece. Oh crap, Lunox is here. Time for plan B. Let Irithyll take the shots. And now that we have outsmarted her, she doesn't have her ult, we can then fall right into their trap. Dang it, she outsmarted our outsmarting. Yeah, I know that the Lord is up guys, but I can't just leave this lane or else we're gonna get Z-longed. And I'm pretty sure he's around here somewhere. There he is. And maybe this time he will fight back because he has some items now, right? I'm not sure what the right build for Z-long is, but I recommend Immortality. You know what, that Zilong might be dying but he's doing a great job from keeping me from the important team fights. Now the enemies got the Lord and our team got wiped out. And we have to take care of taking down this Lord. Hopefully we don't have to deal with this Lunox anymore because she friggin hurts me so bad. So I guess it makes sense to just take down this Lord right in front of our base. We get to at least keep all of our inhibitor towers. Now I wonder how our team's doing. Hmm, okay, looking at the score, all I can say is we're screwed. But that is fine. All we gotta do is defend our base from the minions. Just clear minions, right? And just wait for the enemies to push and not go outside like that Ling did. I mean, what's he even doing? He has ultimate. But that doesn't matter now. What we have to focus on is how we're going to get the heck out of the way from here. Okay, thank you Atlas. And thank you teammates, it's up to you now. Because while you guys are busy in the top lane, we have minions here trying to take down our tower. Do we really have time to take care of that Brody when there's a minion here? Never ever forget guys, minions can be sneaky. Minions win games. And if we don't want that 1 HP bot lane tower of Alex to go down, we have to push one more wave here so we can go somewhere else. It looks like our teammates are trying to do something. I just um, I just don't understand why nobody's clearing the wave. Maybe they're setting up a trap or something. And by the looks of it, it is them who is getting trapped. Let's just make sure that Atlas goes back home in one piece. And now we can find something else to do, like maybe save our teammate Ling, who is getting attacked by the entire enemy team here. Like literally, they're all here. I have many regrets in life, and trying to help that Ling is one of them. At least we can look over Ricky from the afterlife as he's getting murdered by our marksman. And what a surprise, the enemies got the Lord once again. Okay, more headaches. That's exactly what I need right now. But that is fine, of course. It looks like our team still has some fight left in them. Look at Atlas saying that he will do a set with his ultimate, I guess. Now, that I gotta see. Hopefully it's good. Hey, don't mind me guys. I'm just checking if this grass is still green. It looks like it is, so it's time for me to get the heck out of the way from here, especially from Lunox. Don't let that tower die, guys. Come on now. The more towers we have standing, the more chances of us suffering in vain because I can't even move because of this Lunox ultimate. Where's that set that we've been talking about, Atlas? Can I at least see it from the afterlife? Maybe I will. Let's just see what happens. Ooh, that's very good. It's too bad that our teammates don't seem to have any damage. So I guess this is it, huh? Another one of those defeat selfies. Not even a dead defeat selfie because I'm not in the picture. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. And that's gonna be our XP laning Hilda game that we are going to try hard and forget. But I still hope you enjoyed this game even though we unfortunately lost. I mean we're uh, playing on solo queue, a lot of things can happen, especially this. But that is it for me guys, my name is Shinman Takazo. hit like if you enjoyed this game, check out our other uploads for the many and different heroes we played in the past. Also, subscribe to our channel to never miss any of our solo queue shenanigans. And always stay safe, stay healthy, and take care of yourself, and I will see you guys again in the next video. Peace.